Okay, uh, this is going to be rough. Um, man, streaming in VR is, is really, really complicated, but we're going to give it a whirl again today. Um, so, today we're going to be using Oculus Mirror, which just lets you see everything that I see, including the chat. Um, it'll work a little bit differently, and I don't like that we see this at the top here. I think there's actually a way to get rid of that. Um, how do we get rid of... I think it's just full screen. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. All right, good. All right, we're just gonna see how this performs because I actually have no clue how the stream is gonna, how, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna happen. Uh, there's a couple things I need to do. One of them is I need to see if you can actually hear the volume at all. Uh, and that's hard to do because of this other thing. I don't think you can. can is there any volume? Not really, oh God. I don't get why the volume... Wait, hold on, hold on. What? Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, God. It's so complicated. Everything's a mess. I don't know why my controllers aren't working, either. Oh. Yeah, my controllers aren't working. Cool. Anything? Options? Controls? It's set to custom? Okay, Oculus Touch. Mm, okay, but I don't hear anything, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Do we have any? We have no sound! How is that possible? Ah, oh, this worked earlier, of course, you know? That's how, that's how, that's how this stuff tends to work. Um, Alright, let's, let's go take a look at something in options. Audio. It's turned down, but it doesn't mean anything. Right? Unmuted. Oh, no. It's actually really quiet for me, too. I wonder if it's something else. Hold on. Let me try to go into here and switch up the sound settings a bit. Make it louder. I'll come back here. Is that... Does that work at all? No! What? <sighs> Never lucky, man. Oh, uh, there's another thing I want to try. Hold on. Ah, putting down my headset over to the side. I have another thing I can try. Uh, properties. We're going to use the Oculus. Aha! Yes. Okay, so now let's give that a whirl. See if that's any better. Alright, that works. Sweet. 
Okay, I don't know if that's going to be loud whatsoever, or if it's going to be too loud or not. Um, there's no, like, I don't know why there's no music or anything just randomly playing in the game unless you're actually doing something. But you can see that I have all the chat stuff there that I need. Um, so that's good, I think. Um, otherwise, in VR, this game is even more complicated than the base game itself, so... Um, we're we're going to see how this works. Oh, man. I'm just going to play the game regularly. I'm not going to do anything super crazy or whatever. i, I got to learn the game. and It's a learning process to do that. So, um, so yeah. That's, that's kind of just what today is going to be like. And I really like streaming in VR. And in VR, this game is absolutely incredible. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's kind of the plan today. And also, I've never... I haven't done a bunch of stuff in VR versus just on my desktop, so there's a lot of things that I need to actually try out. Uh, one of those is getting in the scarab on a planet and actually trying in VR to move around, because apparently that's really complicated. Um, especially since I'm actually using the Oculus controls, and I want to. I actually want to, you know, bind the rest of the keys that I need and make this work, because there's actually a bunch of keys that I still have not bound. Uh, it's literally playing on a controller, but you can see that when I hold buttons, I get options for different things, uh, depending on like the other buttons that I press in combination. And so this is the stuff that I need to learn uh, and continue binding, because you can see there's actually some free keys here and there um, that are not assigned yet. So depending on what I need to do, uh, you know, I'll, I'll assign things to those keys. So uh, the other thing is I got to turn up sound a little bit. Is, is it is it too quiet for me? I think it's too quiet for everybody. All right, hold on. Options, audio, we're just gonna maximize these, I guess. Okay, good. That's okay. Now we're gonna go back to this option. And we're gonna at least put that up. All right, that only helps me though. I don't think that helps you guys. Yeah, all right. Cool. Good start. <laughs> we'll see if this is actually um, interesting or not. But anyways, in VR, it's pretty cool. So I've been enjoying the game quite a bit. I figured I'd share this experience of trying to learn this stuff. Um, so, I mean, I'm kind of not in my mask right now. I'm looking at both of the other monitors to make sure that things are actually working. Um, and I guess they are, so... Uh, Let's do this. Um, there's a few things I wanted to do just off the bat. One of them is to literally land on a planet and try to actually move around in the scarab. So I'm going to do that first. The other thing is these, because I haven't really understood what these are. It looks like it's some kind of community mission, and it ends December 5th. So if I can get some progress in all of these, I can at least get the minimum reward. And the minimum reward for me is actually not nothing. 400,000 monies is still pretty good. Um, I just have no idea how to do this stuff. So there's protect, which means I have to kill off some... Oh, cool. You can actually see, like, monitors around you, too. That's... I'm actually kind of excited to undock and, and go to some other stations. But um, this one here is... Uh, Turn rewards, you have to sign up. And then do bounties at the Schweikart city in the Perutus system. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go to the Perutus system. Um, and for a lot of this stuff... Wait, hold on. Where's chat? Oh, no. Hold on. Let me reset this. Okay, good. Chat's there now. Great. I can see folks that are around, at least. Um, anyways, the Perutus system, I have no idea where that is. And, and honestly, it's probably a few jumps away or quite a few jumps away, and I don't know if it's worth my time going there right now when I could just keep doing other missions for more than 400,000, I guess. Um, but I just wanted to see if it's at least nearby. How do I zoom out? Th this sucks. Oculus controls on this particular screen are, are quite bad, and I don't know how... Oh, I bet I can search. Hold on. Okay, I can search. Wait. <laughs> it's not gonna... I just... How do I... I need to go down, and then... It's, it's not going to happen, is it? Um, yeah, look at this. This freaking space is huge! 
but it looks like this here is all civilized area? I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, what's this? What is all this? Ooh. Okay, I haven't really taken a look at the, uh, the star map at all in the first place. So there's... Uh... Okay, space... Wow, in... okay, in VR this is a pretty cool map now that I actually look around. Um... Oh, what's that? How do I get up there? Oh, Sagittarius A is all the way back there. Okay, space is pretty big. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, bless you. So how do I... Okay. I see. Ooh. Oh, oh. Jeez. Okay. Um. <laughs> I see. Where's Earth? Can you actually find Earth? Is that a place in Elite Dangerous? Can I go land on Earth? I actually have no idea. I, I'm actually quite curious now. Um, I guess I can just search it. Hold on. So I have to I have to find my mouse. Where is it? Aha! Okay. What are we looking for? Soul? <laughs> Soul. Wait, it's not typing. Oh, God. Soul. Wait! That's going somewhere. Oh, it's actually really close to... No, that can't be... What? That's right there? Uh, how do I... Uh, how do I look at the system? Can I look at the system? Plot route select. Oh, okay, that is actually really far. Wait, you can go to Seoul? Atari sector. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Hold on. We're gonna go back here. Soul. Search. Oh, it is far. Okay. We're gonna bookmark the location, but I, um... Can I look at the actual system, though, somehow? From here? I don't think I can, right? Star type... Federation. Is that, is that actually it? Oh no, this is Salati. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, I think we saw Soul earlier. Now it's just going through each individual system named Soul something. Oh wow, what is that thing? Solitude. Solero. What? That's not soul. What? This isn't soul either. What? What? Okay, hold on. We're gonna retype it. Soul. Sorry, I can't see my keyboard. Soul. Oh. <laughs> this is so uh, slightly aggravating. Yeah, delete this bookmark. Um, okay, we're gonna go to my current location. And this is the selected location. I think this is... Very confusing. This isn't Soul. What? There's no Soul in this name. Did we not just see Soul? I wish I could just see a list of everything. <laughs> I'm so confused. This search isn't working at all. Uh, hip. Okay, that's hip. Okay, we're gonna exit the screen and go back into it. How about that? Alright. Okay, this is still selected, but I don't want to. How do I deselect it? I don't know. Alright, my location, we're just gonna select my location. I can't. <laughs> okay. Let's select any other location, and now we're gonna research Seoul. 
Is it going to be the first thing it brings up? Okay, yes, thank you. Alright, so this is the location we're going to bookmark. Right? And now... Wait, why is it bookmarked this? What? Hold on. Controlled. Requires soul system permit. Well, you can't even go back to Earth. You need a permit. Oh, you can see the system map. <gasps> okay, let's see if Earth is still there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Earth is still there. So are all those other planets. <laughs> I don't think you'll see any other system really dangerous with this many planets. Um, although, that could be wrong. Who knows? I have no idea. Oh, this is cool. Abraham Lincoln Station. Earth-like world. <laughs> Earth is an Earth-like world, just in case... Uh, in case you were wondering. Um... This is cool. So you need a soul system permit in order to, uh, to go here. Can I go any faster on this screen? I guess not. No, not really. Cool. All right, I didn't know this was a thing. Why is this, why does this have a red outline? Ice body. I see body. It doesn't say why it has a... Oh, I get it. It's probably an atmosphere thing. Yeah, okay, that's that's gotta be it. Where's Pluto? Is it is it this one over here? Persephone. Persephone is just another um, dwarf planet, right? So where's Pluto? Pluto should also be a dwarf planet here. Ah, there it is. I know that one. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. Wait, what's that? What is what is that thing all the way down there? Is that like a glitch? What the. Do you guys? Did you? That is actually visible. What? Ah! I'm knocking over my controllers on my keyboard, but... <laughs> Wait, what is that thing? This has to be like a glitch. I can't actually go down there. It's just a glitch. Oh, there's things all over the place. No, just in this spot and that spot. What the... Okay, whatever. I'm guessing that's some kind of a VR thing that just didn't load correctly. I have no idea. Alright. Um, so we can't go to Seoul which is unfortunate, because we need a permit. And I don't know how to get a permit to go back to Earth. Um, but what we can do is at least we can look up the... the what is it again? Man, Mond, and Paratus. So there's the Empire and there's Federation. Okay. Paratus. I think that might actually be close. Galaxy map... Maybe I should just play this game with um, keyboard and mouse in VR. I guess it isn't. It's not bad. Paratus. Oh god. What is it again? Paratus. Yeah, that's right. The problem is that I can't see my keyboard, so I'd rather do everything with the Oculus controllers if I can. Alright, so this is somewhat far, and it's, it has like a logo there as well. Um, to get there, I'd have to do quite a few warps, but I could, and then I can start doing bounties there. Um, I don't know if that's worth it or not, honestly. I might just keep exploring the current system that I kind of started in. So let's do that. Um, Starport services. Let's see if there's any kind of missions we could do. I think everything is still visible. Ah, well, then I have to look at my... Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. All right, so I haven't gotten into this yet, where you can be like a, an Uber, essentially. Space Uber. I don't really care too much about that. Um, 
how do I, okay. There's courier jobs. I want to do more kill missions. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, where is he? Take down elite, okay. All right, this one's not too bad. We need to do assassinate known terrorists from headquarters, okay. Interact with the hub, oh. Okay, this should be interesting. So this is, I've done one of these before where you have to land on a planet and interact with a terminal. <laughs> and um, and then you get like a bounty and everything, but I think you don't actually have to get out into, a, into the scarab to do it. But that's what I did before. I think you could just scan it from like a distance without having to like incur a fine or anything. Um, but it's a good place to start with, so let's do this one. And we're just going to do this one. The location is... Ikuru. Ikuru. Okay, now the problem is I can't actually, like, select this little menu here on the Oculus. Oh, that's far. Wait, no, is it? Oh, no, it's not. We're fine. It's a couple jumps. Yeah, it's on the planet. Okay. Alright, let's try it. This is a good challenge for, for me right now. Normally I try to get a bunch of other missions that are in the same system. Um, right now I just want to try to see if I can make this work at all. So to do that, um, how do we do that? It should already be marked on the system, right? Oh, it is. There. This is the first jump we have to do. And uh, to do that, we have to go into... Nope, that's not right. There we go. Oh, and this system is Anarchy level. Okay. That's fine. I really don't have that much to lose, and I like dying in this game, because you don't really lose that much at all. So it's actually not really a big deal. This game, however, in VR just looks absolutely awesome when you're warping. Okay, good. Next jump. It's over there. So if I get a crew member, do I actually see them in that chair? I don't know. I can get like a really cheap one. I don't want them to steal too much of my uh, my money, but I am curious. I heard that they're kind of loud and noisy and talkative, so they probably wouldn't last very long here because I'm the noisy, talkative one, um, not not somebody else. Oh, throttle up, right? Cassian landing and interface with the hub. Okay. Good. There it is. Wait. Unexplored low security. That's where we have to go? Hmm. I wonder how I can go into the scanning mode 
on uh, on this. I've got a little bit of time to try to figure it out. Ooh, so that's how you cycle next fire group. Okay, it's like this. Okay, good. Oh, wait, where did the Oculus thing go? No. Ah, uh, this happened to me before. Shit. Oculus crashed. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, no. This happens to me actually a couple of uh, times with Elite Dangerous where Oculus will suddenly crash. Well, it won't crash because obviously I'm still in the headset. Um, so I can't really explain what the hell happens. But that's it. Now I lost chat. I can't actually uh, monitor chat. So I just have to glance over every now and then, I guess. That kind of sucks. Damn, why does it happen? So the button doesn't do anything anymore. I can't open up uh, the Oculus menu at all. I could probably look it up, so maybe next time I can try to figure it out. I guess today is just a... We're chilling anyways. We're trying things out. We're trying to see if we can stream this game and if it's actually entertaining or not. Um, all right. So this looks like, looks like an ice world. Entering orbit. Um, we're gonna, okay. So we're gonna get as close as we can. Oh, cool, it actually corrects me back into orbit. Because it's still an autopilot. Ah, that's cool. That's actually really awesome. Okay. Hassanian Landing. And uh, because we're not actually... Go we're just going to try to scan it from a distance, but this is also the world that I'm going to land somewhere else and just hop out of the Scarab and see if it works. Uh, we are on the dark side, so uh, we're going to go to ship and turn on night vision and maybe external lights. orbit anymore. Okay. Ah, no. Why? Oh, because we're going too fast? Okay, that's fine. I didn't really take any damage, so... Wait, what happened? Oh, too fast for orbital cruise. Okay. Um... Cooldown is so high, I have to wait for that again. Okay. Um, surface map. Oh. What does a surface map look like of a planet? I've never seen this before. Okay. Cool. Oh, I wonder actually... Steam VR isn't on either, so now I can't even use either one to see chat. I have to, like, lift the mask to see if I've missed anything. Ugh. I don't like doing that. Uh, okay, so we need to turn back on Super Cruise. And everything is in um, night mode, right? Night vision mode is on, so it's going to look a little green. Line with escape vector. Wait, what? I'm not trying to escape. Four, three, two, one, engage. Just trying to get closer. <sighs> okay. Well. I don't know. All right, we're just gonna, yeah, I'll go from here. This is fine. I have no idea if, uh, the sound actually shouldn't be too bad. Although the mic is so sensitive, you could probably hear the kitchen. Oh, I could switch to the Oculus mic. I don't, that's not a better mic though. 
Um, but it is, it won't pick up everything else around me. So I'll have to do that next time as well. Oculus mic, and also figure out why Oculus, the uh, UI and everything crashes. All right, I, I wanna know how to go faster. Can I just turn up the engine a bit? Yes, how do I boost? Because you can do engine boost, silent running, toggle flight assist. Sensor zooms, open orders, ship lights, landing gear. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna try to scan it from oh, already. Huh? Data link scanner. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna trespass soon. I know. Hold on, it's not letting me fire though. Okay. Whew. This is not easy uh, at all. Ah! What? Oh, they're actually firing at me. Shit. Ah. Whoa! Okay, alright. I didn't take that much before from this. Um, what the hell? Pulse lasers. FSD interdictor. D scanner. No, this is it. I had to do a data link scanner. That was correct. Hmm. What's the worst that can happen? I die. I have a bounty. Ooh. I want to look, uh, I want to explore the game. I want to figure this stuff out. Okay. I don't like the way that the controls work, but okay. I'll have to figure that out later. Switch them around if I can. Also, I don't know how to target something. I think it's... Oh, no, that's not it. Aha! Operations terminal. Comms terminal. Alright, here's the comms terminal. Can I just, uh... Oops. Oh, God, this is so complicated. Out of range. Operations terminal. Comms terminal. What is the range? What's the range? What? What the hell is the range on this? I just want to scan it. They don't like me. I can't. I can't do it. It's not... The buttons aren't working. I was in range, though. Kill it off. We're gonna kill off the lasers. We'll incur a bounty. I don't know. I can't figure out any way to uh, scan it from range. Wouldn't let me. Where's it? Actually not taking any damage. Hmm. Okay, 
this is a lot more complicated than I was uh, thinking it would be. It's a really powerful laser. Like, I've landed on these kind of planets before, but I've never seen them uh, hurt this much. And usually I can kill it in just a few shots. And this one is very, very different. Okay, the multi cannon is like that. Pulse laser is like that. I could land actually nearby and then just take the scarab over. I mean, either way, I, I gotta mess around a little bit with this, so let's try. We're gonna land a little bit of a way, a little bit away, and then I need to go and do. Uh... God, where is it? Landing gear. God. Um. Okay, now what? How do I? Oh, I know. All right, here we go. First thing to do is low gravity one. Okay. Night vision on. I don't need that. Okay. Module not function. Increase distance from ship. Wait, that's to switch turrets? Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Drive assist is off. But it's acting as if drive assist is on. Okay, the keys for this are very different. Okay. Um, let's get away a little bit. Turret deploying. Okay, how do I switch to turret mode? We don't have fire groups on this. We have a data link scanner as a secondary. Right. Okay, now how do I switch to turret mode? Oh my god. S camera suite, power balance. No. Ah! Okay, that's cool. Okay, but there's no way to switch. Oh! What the? Oh god. <laughs> this is so. So weird. Oh, I can still. Okay, I see. I can still drive the ship. That's why. That's why it's kind of moving. But the buttons have switched. Not in a good way. Um, Psycho Fire Group. Analysis mode. Oh, I wasn't in analysis mode. That's why I couldn't uh, scan it from the uh, from the ship. Oh my god. Oh no! I think it crashed. Shit. The whole computer just crashed. Uh. I guess the stream is still going. What the hell just happened? I don't know. Okay, whatever happened, my computer recovered from it. Um, but clearly this is doing stuff it shouldn't be doing. Okay, switch back to this. Okay, this is how we're going to scan them. This is my ship, I have to go over there. Oh boy. This isn't gonna go well at all. 
You know, I could just do a drive-by scanning on this thing. And I might. Let's see if it'll let me. Incorrect cockpit mode? Really? Oh. Analysis mode. Alright, please don't fuck up. Okay, so apparently landing on stuff badly actually, uh... Oh, jeez, it is damaging the... the thing. Okay. Okay. God, it's so far away. Getting. Oh my god. Alright, I think the operations terminal is the one. Handbrake is on. How do I do that? I can't move! How do I turn off the handbrake? Uh, oh, it's back off. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened. Alright, comms control. Shit. Oh my god. Out of range. Okay. No! Okay, I figured out why, why that happens. I need to get really close to that thing. Scan it and get the hell out of there. That's it. That's all I gotta do. No, come on! Don't script now. It's not working. God, of course it's not. Of course it's not working. Mission target, okay. But the scanner's not working, though. It's not doing anything. I could try one thing. Go to this mode. It's not doing anything. Can I try with the uh, oh, secondary A? Even the mouse doesn't work. Ah, this is so confusing. So, data link scanner, it just doesn't, it doesn't want to do it. <sighs> There's no other fire groups, it's just the data link scanner. Yeah, I doesn't want to do it. So now that I've changed it over to the other, to the other one, it still doesn't want to work. Do I need, like... I'm 
Can we have any line of sight? We shouldn't, right? Oh, it's working now! <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. We're out of here. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Okay, there. Jeez. Where's my boat? Ah, oh, god, okay. I'll probably end up dead before I can even get back if I keep dying to these rocks. Nope. Oh god. Where's my boat? Just want to know where my boat is. I think it's still this way. Alright, we're out of the... Uh, oh. I don't know what, why the radar is red. I mean, this looks correct, right? Where? Wait, right, I can take a look at a map. No, I can take a look at contacts? Oh, wow, it's not even on my contacts list. Surface map. Oh. Okay. Alright, it doesn't tell me where my boat is. Okay, that's very useful. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's this way. There's a fuel, however, on this, so I really only have uh, up until the fuel point to know for sure. Alright, do we have anything in chat? No, chat didn't load, of course not. Oh, I did on this screen, okay, we're fine. I have it up on two screens. Uh, oh man, this could be pretty bad, huh? Alright, is there any other thing I could do to try to find my boat? Um, well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> this doesn't help either. Recall ship? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> That's probably not a good thing, right? Did I just fuck up? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that's me. Oh, thank God. Okay, everything's fine. No Man's Sky. Is it gonna land or is it just gonna look menacingly, menacingly up there? Okay, no, we're good. God, this is so cool in VR. Wait, I wanna turn off my cushion for a second. I guess that's the turret. Um, SRV. Turn off night vision. Turn on full beam. Oh, this is so cool! God, this looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, God, I've gotten stuck like this before. You have to, like, go in from the side. Okay. Is Oculus working again? Nope. Uh, okay. Now what? We have a kill order. And we've inquired 
intelligence, they're going to be an Aravate system. Okay. All right, good enough. We can go there. That's closer to where we live. But it is three jumps away. All right, ship secured. Hold this to launch. Uh. Oh. It doesn't tell me how, but I have to actually move it forward. Okay. Screw you, base. Get me out of here. How do I turn off landing gear? Dude, my shields are about to go. Go! Engines. Oh god. The controls are not intuitive for this. Okay. Hyperspace jump. Oh, thank god everything's finally working. Okay, we're good. We're gonna make it. Yaw left and right doesn't work at all. I don't know why. Like, the right stick isn't doing anything right now. I don't know why. Normally it does. It's so weird. Is it because I changed something? Cycle next subsystem. Cycle next target. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Sensor zooms, ship... T okay... Alright, I don't know. watching the sound right now. Okay, that's really loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> this freaking game, man. Ugh. Everything's screwing up, isn't it? Are we good? No. We're not at all. Jesus, man. Uh, there we go. Oh my god. It is really, really hard to, uh... To stream this. To stream in VR is just an absolute pain right now. But it looks like it's working. It's just... It's barely working. But, okay. We did it. Let's keep going until this thing breaks. The off still doesn't work. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. That's so weird. Like, if I go to options right now, and I go to controls, Oculus Touch, um, flight rotation. Okay. Left stick, left stick, right stick. Look, pitch axis. Pitch up, pitch down. Like, all this stuff should be on the right one. Um, can I just roll, actually? Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, we're going to change roll access, access to, um, to the right stick. Okay, that doesn't work. What? 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 Oh, I 
I see now. Okay, I see how this works. So here it is. This is yaw axis, and that's fine. What I actually want to do is I want to change uh, left. I want to change right stick to roll. <sighs> How's this going to work? Okay, I want to change right stick to roll. So this, confirm. I want to change left stick to yaw. What? How is that bound to cycle next target? That doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to press cancel. Cancel, discard, controls. Rotation, yeah, it's back to what it was before. Yeah, I don't know, this is really weird. Oh, now it's working. <laughs> I don't get it, man. It was actually bugged. Uh. At least we figured out how to make this uh, the scarab work in VR. What's going on? Wait, why are heat levels so high? Get me out of here. This isn't good, is it? Good. Probably not. Oh no, we're good. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is so hard. All right. Target body elevate three. I don't know if I want to do this, but <laughs> I gotta kill somebody. This isn't gonna go well, but whatever. Wait, what? Mission? Okay, this is where I actually have to go. Um, man, I do like this game. Like, it is actually really, really cool. But it is absolutely insane to try to figure it out, especially with the Oculus controls. I, I have quite a bit of work to do with uh, rebinding things. I think. At least now I can just sit here and it'll do the super cruise for me. So, did I actually get any, um, I don't think that they put a bounty on me for that, right? Let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, actually, this is it, isn't it? It's just him. So I don't want to escape this. Right? Because, um, this is the guy I'm trying to kill. How do I, how do I forcibly, um, let him do this? Maybe it's not a good idea, I don't know. Because it'll do some damage to my ship, right? I should go this way. Oh, 
Okay, I can push it. Hey. Ship scan. How do I target him? I just want to target you. Oh, I did. Okay, okay. God, man. If I look too far to the left, it goes to a different menu. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, it has to be perfect. Much easier to do on the, uh... On the computer. Okay, I need to be a lot closer. Uh, let's move like that. Wait, he's leaving? Is this not my target? It isn't. Wait, this is just some guy. Um, Phil Man. But I'm looking for Jan Walter. Shillip. Oh, man. Ah. Why? Oh, how do I put that away? Wait, can I not put my weapons away? I put my weapons away. Oh, great. Great. Oh, wait, but I'm not actually going here. Shit. I need to go here. Okay, see, I thought that we were actually at the spot already. But we were close, but not, not quite there yet. Um, slow down. I don't know, dude, it's on auto. I know voice attack is the thing that a lot of people use for this game. Probably should do that. Okay. Cycle next target. That's not him. That's him. Out of range. Okay. Alright, let's go. Is that him? Yep. Oh my god. Alright. Uh... Oh, he already... The shields are already gone. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Alright. Uh, scoop. Oh, this is gonna be a... This is gonna be a nuisance, isn't it? Okay. Cargo scoops. In VR. Okay, this is actually a lot easier than uh, than on the keyboard and mouse. And I guess just having the joysticks is nice. That's why getting a, like a nice flight uh, flight stick setup makes a lot of sense for these kind of games. Nope. Oh my god. She got that one. All right, where do I need to go? Um, Trevor Thick Dock. I think it's in the same system, right?
Wait, did I just see Hogwarts? What? Okay. What? What is this? What are those? Oh, I have to go here. Why? God, every time, man. And my cargo scoop is open. We should just did it by itself. Oh my god. Super, super complicated game. But this is like... Oh, let me see. Okay. This is actually like a really enjoyable game though. It's slow. I don't like that part. Um, I don't like, you know, having to go to star systems that are far away and it takes a long time. Um, I get why. I understand it. Like, yesterday I was actually in VR and I was watching a podcast also like you know, like I was with Oculus just on the top there. Um, and it's cool. Like, I like doing that. It, it, it just, sometimes it's a little bit too slow, right? Like, I actually just want to get the stuff and continue. Like, this place is really, really far away. So it's going to take me probably five or seven minutes to get there, maybe. And, um, like, I'm a pretty patient person. It's fine, right? I don't really care. Uh, the problem is because I'm streaming, right? So during a stream, it's a little bit more annoying because, um... Okay, there we go. Because I don't want to be doing this, right? I'd rather be doing something else at the same time. Obviously, interacting with chat is a nice place, or a nice way to do it, but, like, I don't have that much of an audience. So there's not much to interact with. Um, this is going to take a long time. Oh, my God. Uh... I can go to sleep. Like, this is the kind of thing that I, I wish it was just quick. That you could skip it or something. And I know that they're trying to be realistic. This is a sim. It shouldn't. Right? There's arguments both ways. Um, oh, what does this actually say? Okay. Good. still mostly harmless. Mostly aimless. I don't know what the actual ranks are. I wish I could see that. Is it part of, like, Codex or something? Knowledge base? Oh. Alright. Well, I guess while we're flying, we can do this, right? I just... I wish I could see how much further we have without having to, like, quit out of that whole menu. Alright. Discoveries. Let's take a look at this. Ooh. Your total discoveries. Oh, that's cool. So this is kind of like an achievement system in a way. Xenological. Oh, that's cool! Reported location. This is the first time. Yep. Oh, wait, no. Is it? December 11th? No, I thought January 5th was the first time. Maybe not. Maybe in reality that's when it was uploaded to YouTube. Look at that. This is this is all on the same day? That can't be right. No, that can't be right. Oh, look at this. Basilisk. Holy crap. Thargoid Scavengers. Oh, no, I don't want to go to the map. Get out of there. Xenological. Thargoid Pod Device. I saw that on a stream once. Scouts. Uplink Device. What are these? Oh, Guardian Objects. Ah. Looks like this is all planetary, except for maybe what this is. Sentinel. Cool. See, the game doesn't really, like... It doesn't have the craziest new stuff. 
like, um, the story and everything is cool. It's been done before in many ways, obviously, but the way that they're doing it with Elite Dangerous is very, very unique, right? They're getting the players in involved very directly with the story. And um, in an MMO, that's not, that's not really, like, the way that they're doing it is, is extremely unique. Um, it's not like it hasn't been done before, right? But they're doing it in a very unique way that's awesome, and I think that the players really appreciate that. Um, Pilot's Handbook. Ever since the return of the Thargoids, humanity's need for... Okay. Xenohunt. Wow. So there's a whole thing for that. Weapons. Oh my gosh. I wonder if they only just added this information here ever since, like, you know, like a year or two ago. Yeah, okay, here we go. So I guess this is normal. There's an actual active war, and you can go and fight them. Incursion. A system will enter the incursion state when Thargoids have appeared in large numbers. Starports, starports within the system facing incursion are at risk of being attacked and damaged. Ships traveling through these systems may be hyperdicted and attacked. So I'm guessing people have destroyed Thargoid's uh, ships. They found a way to do it. Because at the very beginning, there was like no way to do any damage to the ships, but they must have found or like engineered weapons that are able to do so. Um, and it probably gives you information here about that. AX. What is that? AX, yep. So this must be like a very specific type of uh, type of weapon. Xeno scanner, yeah. Okay. Guardian. Oh, you can use Guardian technology. Wow, that's cool. Man, I really like that. Ah, uh, we're not even there. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep looking. Uh, so that was this. Let's go to Knowledge Base. Oh, the Guardians. Oh my god, they have so much information here. This is cool! Oh, we can actually uh, have it... Uh speak all this stuff for you. Text-to-speech. Oh, hello. That is really cool. Okay, so here we go. I, oh, damn it, I really wanted to see the uh, the ranks. I, I was hoping that it would let me. Archive. Okay. All right. Oh no. Okay, I thought that might actually slow me down. I'm getting close. This is news, okay. Engineers. See, this part I don't understand. So... Um... Specializations. So you can engineer equipment, right? Because you've gained all this stuff, and there's a lot of information or things, pulse lasers. But what is this, like, for? Engineers are most sought-after technicians. Their ability to craft and modify ship modules. Okay. You can customize modules, increasing their attributes. Okay. Best modules, modifications, guarantee superb results. Okay. 
Workshop access ranges from grade one to grade five. You can improve your workshop access by building trust with an engineer. Okay. Upgrading ship modules available on. Okay. Hmm. Whoa, what is all this? Latest poll results. Power standing. Oh my god. You can pledge allegiance. Oh, jeez. So you can fight for, like, a faction, I guess, huh? That's pretty cool. I haven't needed to get into this yet, where, like, you have to, you know, like, manage power and stuff. I've been trying to avoid it as much as possible, honestly. Oh, wait, I have stuff in my inventory. What? I didn't sell this. Alright, I have to sell this here. Hopefully I can remind myself to. Alright, cool. Uh, wait, what? Why isn't that... The screen isn't closing. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. Okay. Good enough. Chat's been pretty empty. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with streaming and such. I'm just playing games for now. Hanging out. Seeing what I can do in terms of streaming. Oh, there are a couple games that I got, too. Um, I got Super Hot VR, which I haven't played yet. And I got the uh, Lone Echo, which is the uh, Echo franchise game thing. Um, but it's the first game that came out single player, and it's supposed to be really, really good. So two kind of story sort of games that I think will be enjoyable for me to play in VR. And I think people can enjoy those. So we'll try those out as well. Uh, today I just wanted to do Elite Dangerous, which I still might play on the side, honestly. Like, I I've actually enjoyed this game quite a bit. Um... So while today I'm just kind of going through it in VR on stream, um, I'm probably going to end up playing this a bit more often. At least while I'm still taking a break from Arcage. Um, I just, I don't know, man. Things have been kind of wonky there. Man, this really did take like seven minutes. Jeez. See, I don't like this. I don't like that it takes this long. I know that it's done like this on purpose. I get it. Um, let me put it this way. It does make sense, especially if you're able to multitask, right? They give you some stuff to multitask with, right? This stuff, which is cool. Um, and I can go and stand up and go get water or something. I think that's great. I don't think that's a bad thing. It gives you a reason to go and walk around. However, people can always interdict you and stop you from warping without you, like, being in the room and you wouldn't notice, okay? Um, or, or whatever. Number two is that in VR, this really sucks because in VR, I can't do anything else, right? I am just waiting. I am sitting here, and while I could bring up Oculus and do something else in VR like on the side, even on my main desktop, I'm mostly just watching this, right? Because there's nothing else I can really do. So for VR, this kind of sucks, the, the slowness that uh, that moving from place to place can, can be. Um, granted, I can't even get Oculus to, to stay alive, right? Because it keeps killing itself off for some reason. I can't get back to the Oculus menu. Um, I don't know why, I have to figure that out too. So even if I wanted to try to multitask that way, I wouldn't be able to. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do these. And I don't know if I care too much. I do have a bounty. I think this is from earlier today. Some I did something else. 
But seriously, this game feels good. Like, it's an actual enjoyable game. This is the one thing that I'm not a big fan of. But it is a beautiful game. Also, I, I do want to increase super sampling a bit on the uh, on Oculus myself to see if I can increase the quality of, of everything that I see here. It's a beautiful game and it's already kind of done, right? Like there's so much to it. There's so many things to do. I've been playing Star Citizen, I can't, like, as beautiful as Star Citizen is, it's just not a game yet. And it's an alpha, I get it, but, like, I don't know. I've had a lot of issues with that. I freaking, I want Star Citizen to be good. I really do. I, I, I'm afraid that by the time they finish Star Citizen to a point where they're happy with it, they're going to be very, very far behind everybody else in terms of, like, actual gameplay and, and stuff. Um, like, already, they're never gonna catch up to Elite Dangerous. I just, like, and by the time the game comes out, it's, they're gonna be long gone. Elite Dangerous is gonna come out with tons of other, um, features and gameplay styles and stuff that, uh, they're gonna own the market, right? And it has story. Like, I, the story with Star Citizen, at least in the alpha, hasn't been very clear. But it's an alpha. I get it, I get it. I get it. I just don't like the development style that much. Very slow. All right, cool. Um, all that for less than a hundred thousand. Okay, I got a little more than a hundred thousand. All right. Not not really worth it, but I did get to explore this stuff in VR quite a bit. Um, Right, try to make the scare work in VR. Uh, I think overall it's a pretty good learning experience. Look at these, expert rank missions. You have to kill 35 pirates. You get 4.2 million. Seriously, like if I had a bunch of friends playing the game, we could actually do this stuff. Um, but I do not, I don't know anybody that plays Elite Dangerous. At least even semi-actively. Ooh. Ah. See, elite rank. I don't know why it's elite rank. Is it just because the ship is harder to kill or something? They even recommend you to have more people, so maybe it's just that, um... Yeah. Maybe it's just, like, there's multiple enemies or something. Okay, this one's actually not that bad. 300,000 and... Oh, God, it's another one of these. Interact with the hub access terminal on, on a planet somewhere. Ah. I mean, it's a good one. I have 24 hours to do it. I would actually take that. See, both of these are planetary. It even shows the thing. Okay. Competent. What other jobs are available? I actually did this, Liberate Six Hostages. I was given it randomly to do, and that was pretty cool. Oh wait, I have to sell that thing. Um, wait, what? This place doesn't have a galactic market? Oh man. It is outfitting, but it doesn't have a galactic market. Okay. Let's see if there's anything that'll take me into a nearby system that I want to be in. Although I, I kind of want to do this one. That's going to be the same thing. I don't want to do the same thing twice. 